Let us meditate upon the word of the Lord in Psalm 111 verses 1 to 10. Praise ye the Lord. I will praise the Lord with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation. The works of the Lord are great, sought out of all them that had pleasure therein. His work is honorable and glorious, and His righteousness endureth forever. He had made His wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. He had given meat unto them that fear Him. He will ever be mindful of His covenant. He had showed His people the power of His works, that He may give them the heritage of the heaven. The works of His hands are verity and judgment. All His commandments are sure. These stand fast forever and ever, and are done in truth and uprightness. He sent redemption unto His people. He had commanded His covenant forever. Holy and reverend is His name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do His commandments. His praise endureth forever. Ang Diyos ang magpapala ng Kanyang salita. Let us pray. Father God in heaven, sa umagang ito, nagpupurit pa salamat kami na patuloy na sa umagang ito, masamba ka namin sa Espiritu at Katotohanan. Thank you Lord sa mga pagpapala mo. Thank you Lord sa nakarang araw na uh, sa buhay namin na ginabayan mo, pinatubayan, provide mo mga pangailangan namin. Ikaw ang Diyos na takila sa lahat na karapat dapat na bigyan ng papurit, papasalamat sa lahat ng oras. Kaya Lord, sa umagang ito sa aming pagsamba, sa paglapit sa iyo, dalangin namin na ang banal na Espiritu ang siyang kumilos upang uh, ang iyong salitay, aming maunawaan, ganun din, uh, mag-focus kami, Panginoon, at tunay, Panginoon, na ikaw ang makikita namin sa kaglitna, kalagitnaan. Tulungan mo kami, Panginoon, na iwaksi ano man mga lalahay na yan, ano man mga problema sa buhay namin at ilatag nito sa, namin ito sa iyong paanan upang sa umagang ito ang pagsambat paglapit namin sa iyo yung katanggap-tanggap sa iyo. O Lord, dalangin din namin sa umagang ito na ang iyong minsahero na siyang gagamitin mo upang maging daluyan ng iyong pagpapala at pagmamahal sa amin. Patnubayang gabayan niyo siya, Panginoon. Tulungan na ang lahat ng mga bagay na kanyang sasabihin na siyang magbigay ng kapurihan lamang sa iyo. O Lord, maraming salamat sa lahat na ito. At sa, sa umagang ito, patawarin mo kami sa lahat ng mga pagkukulang, mga pagkakamali namin na ikuha upang sa umagang ito, ang paglapit, pagsamba namin sa iyo ay tunay Panginoon na maging makabulahan at katanggap-tanggap. Maraming salamat, O Lord, sa lahat. In Jesus' name, Amen.
Okay, magandang umaga po. First Baptist Church of Pildira. Nagkita-kita na naman tayo sa isang makabuluhang Sunday School. Ha? October 31, 2021. O yan. At para naman po sa ating uh, 2021 team, Church, a city on a hill that cannot be hid. And then, for our October team, looking for that blessed hope. At makikita po natin yan sa Titus chapter 2, verse 13, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. At para naman po sa ating Sunday School, ayan po ang ating memory verse, Romans 8.18. At ang ating pong, uh, topic for today is, Heaven is my glorious home. Ang ganda! Talagang puro gano'n na tayo ngayon. <laughs> Talagang we long to see heaven. Wow! Okay. At para naman po sa ating uh, scripture, sabi doon sa Romans 8.18, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Amen. Ha? Napakaganda. So tayo po muna ay sanang, sandaling makamanalangin. Dakilan Diyos na makapanginahan sa lahat. Maraming maraming salamat po, Panginoon, sa ipinagkalamong pong opportunity once more na we can study your word, learn from it, O Lord, apply it in our lives, at makapagbigay ng panibagong uh, hope sa aming Panginoon lalo na sa panahon ngayon ng full of sufferings, Panginoon, ang aming pong nararana, nadad, nararanasan, Panginoon, sa mundong ito. Dalangin po namin ang inyong patnubay. Give us the wisdom and understanding, O Lord, as we study your word ng sa ganun, Lord. Maintindihan namin itong maigi at may apply namin, Panginoon, sa aming mga puso. Thank you very much, dear Father. Dahil ito po yung aming sa matamis sa pangalan ng aming Panginoong Isa Kristo. Amen. Okay. At ito po ay mga, this verse contains a precious promises. Promise to every believer who suffers in this life. Ang dami talaga nagsasuffer ngayon. Sa health, sa stress, diba? sa lahat, marami. <laughs> We are promised that while there may be sufferings, amen, sufferings in this world, there will be a glorious celebration in our next age, glorious home, which is heaven. <laughs> oh, yan, di ba? Dapat matuwa na tayo dahil meron na tayong sure hope. O, yan. At pinamagatan po natin to. Grieving here. Glory there. <laughs> Kita mo naman, may ascending. Ha? Ah, okay. So, For I reckon that sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Romans 8.18 At sa ating First point, the sufferings of this present age. Ayan, the suffering of this present time. Makita po natin yan. Ayan, ayan, okay. Ayan, ayan, ayan. Okay. So, suffering means that which one suffers. Okay, ha? it is example, hardship, calamity, evil, affliction on the affliction believer must go through because of their association with Christ and his 
kingdom work, itong malaking pogi points uh, when you are afflicted because of Christ, association with Christ. As we all know, everyone endures sufferings to some degree. Merong um, malumanay lang, pero yung iba napakahirap. Diba? We all know about the sufferings of Job, si Patriarch Job, Apostle Paul, and the Lord Jesus Christ. We too shall experience it all. Ang sabi nga doon sa Matthew 16, 24, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. That is sufferings. Diba? So pagka tayo ay follower ni Jesus Christ, we will bear, we will carry also the cross in our lives. I am. Every hospital and cemetery remind us that there is suffering and pain in our earthly lives. We suffer at times because we make foolish decisions. So, ayan, sa atin eh, misan, hindi na tayo nagtatanong sa iba, hindi na tayo nagtatanong kay Lord. Ayan, ginagawa natin yung gusto natin gawin. Ayan, we suffer because of we, we make foolish decisions. Sabi doon sa Galatians 6-7, Be not deceived, God is not mock, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. If you sow a wind, you will reap storm, <laughs> whirlwind. Okay. We suffer at times because those around us make foolish decisions or yung others, di ba? Nadadamay pa tayo and we get caught up in a tragedy of their error like what happened to Israel sa Hosea 8.7 because of their fornication with another idol, with idols and another uh, Diyos Diyosan na galit ang Panginoon at sila'y pinarusahan. For they have sown the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind. It hath no stock. The bud shall yield no meal. If so be it yield, the strangers shall swallow it up. Either way, talo sila. May nagtanim sila, hindi tumubo. Meron tumubo, niraid naman lang stranger o ng mga foreigner o yung mga nag uh, Ano sa kanila, nag-oppress sa kanila na ibang nation. Ayan. We suffer at times because of our association with Jesus. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 12. 2 Timothy verse, ano? chapter 3, verse 12. Yeah, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Ayan. So, yun lang pong naglilib ng godly. Soberly, righteously, and godly. O, yun, yun. Yun po yung nagsasuffer ng persecution. O, yun po mga... There are times when we suffer physically. Tama. Ayan, maraming may sakit talaga. Emotionally and spiritually. You may think it, but we are never alone in our Sufferings, First Peter 5.10, ayan. But the God of all grace, who had called us unto His eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that we have suffered a while, oh, sandali lang naman pala, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. So, suffering is hindi negative. Suffering, sufferings are gifts. Ah, dahil ito ay nag make us perfect. Diba? Nagiging perfect tayo. Tayo ay nakaka-stand alone, established. 
strengthen, nagpapalakas sa ating spiritual na buhay and settle you. Oh, may settlement ka pa. O, oh, di ba? May bahay ka. <laughs> Nag- nasasete ka na okay ka, di ba? Na lumalago ka sa paniniwala, sa pananampalataya, sa righteousness, sa holiness ng ating Panginoon. The Bible make, makes it crystal clear that suffering is a part of earthly existence. O, ayan, doon pa kay Job. Ayan. Man that is born of a woman is of few days and full of trouble. O, ayan, ayan, ha? Job 14.1. Also in John 16.33, ang sabi, in the world, ye shall have tribulation. O, totoo, sinabi ni Jesus Christ, in the world, ye shall have tribulation. Kaya ayon tayo magsettle dito eh. Ha? Kasi magulo talaga dito. Chaos talaga, lalo ngayon. Ako, pag nakita niyo yung sa, sa ano, Rage of Earth sa YouTube, panoorin niyo, October 1 to 2, October 3 to 4, What Happened to the World, October 5 to the 6, 7 and 8, panoorin niyo. As long as we are here, there will be sufferings. That is the nature of life in a sin Cursed world. Talaga. Cast is the gr- cursed is the ground for thy sake. Yeah. Cursed. Number one, the sufferings of this present age. And number two, glorious home in the new age. So, yeah, di ba? Woo! Transfer ka. Ang ganda. Di ba? Letter A, we look forward to the day when we are in our glorious home with the Lord in heaven. It looks forward to the time when this earthly life will all its problem, pain, and suffering will end. And the child of God will go to be with the Lord in heaven. Amen. But the praise revealed in us anticipate a time when we will be made like Jesus Christ glorious body ah nagpapapapa ang galing di ba we're looking forward to it we're looking forward to that day ah glorious home in the new age ngayon naman sufferings at this present age let her be for the child of God the best is yet to come. Jesus himself promised to prepare a place for each of his children. John 14, 1-3 Let not your heart be troubled. We believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you into myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. Amen. Oh, malapit na yan, ha? If you're a child of God. <laughs> Let us see some insight. Oh, yan. Meron tayong glimpse. Ano mga nakuha natin mga a uh, glimpse or chismis, ha? Hindi <laughs> po, sorry for the word. <laughs> Kasi all over sa Old Testament and New Testament, eh, may sinasabi ah, na maliit na uh, tip para makita natin, mag mabaraaga natin ang ba yung pupuntahan natin, ha? Yung heaven, our glorious home. Heaven will be a land of music. Asabi, and they sang a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seal. Ayan, no? Diba? Seal thereof, for thou was slain and has redeemed us to God by the blood out of every kindred 
and tongue and people and nation. Revelation 5, 9. Heaven will be a land of music. Naku, magkakantahan tayo doon. Heaven will be a land of praise and worship. Revelation 7, 9 to 12. After this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number of all nation and kindred and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and in palms in their hands. Oh, di ba? Di ba? Ha, ano yan? Hosanna in the highest. Ayan. Revelation 7, 10 to 11, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb, and on all the angels stood round about the throne, and about, and about the elders and the four beasts, and fell before the throne on their faces, and worshipped God. saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. Oh, sarap no? Forever and ever. Di ba? Oh, yeah. And heaven will be a land of praises and worship. Heaven will be a land of perfect service. And Revelation 22, 3, And there shall be no more curse, amen, but the throne of God and up to the Lamb shall be in it, and His servant shall serve Him. Oh, yeah, perfect, perfect service. Revelation 22, 3. Heaven will be a land of rest. Oh, salamat po. Rest. <laughs> and heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may, that they may rest from, the, from, their, their, from their labors and their works to works to follow them. Yeah. Heaven will be a land depressed. Oh, salamat po. Heaven also will be a land of rejoicing. <laughs> yeah, that's how they, Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the Lamb is come. And his wife had made herself ready, a oh, glorious home in the new age. Our glorious home in heaven. Huh? Heaven will be a land where all kinds of sufferings in this life stops. Oh, wala na sufferings doon. Huh? Revelation 21, 4. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death. Amen. Neither sorrow nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. Amen. Glorious talaga. Amen. One day, we will end our earthly life here. Talaga, mamamatay tayo. And here, and we will fly away to glory. We will leave these bodies at the very moment of our deaths. We will exist in some sort of spiritual body until the day of the rapture. On that day, the Lord will come and get His bride. The bodies of those who have died in Christ will be raised from the dead. Amen. Our spirits 
will be placed back in our bodies and we will be changed. Yun! Meron mo yun? So, pagka tayo na, namatay, hindi na natin experience yung rapture, mamamatay tayo, pero mabupunta na tayo sa heaven at babalik tayo dito pagkasama ni Lord pagdating ng rapture. Then we will meet those na may experience nila yung rapture, yung living, and the dead in the clouds. Ah, <laughs> Pinagpipray nyo ba na gusto nyo na sa rapture, maka-attend sa rapture, o doon na sa langit? Uh-huh. Sabi ni Apostle Paul, eh, pagka namatay, masging. <laughs> Di ba? <laughs> Absent in the body, present with the Lord is gain. <laughs> Ayan, 1 John 3 to Beloved, now are we the sons of God. Ha, tandaan nyo po yan, ha? sons of God. And it that not yet appear, not yet, that what we shall be. But we know, we know that when we shall appear, we shall be like Him. Yes! For we shall see Him as He is. Ayan, glorious body. Magkakaroon din tayo ng glorious body. 1 John 3, 1-3 makes it clear that one day we will be like Jesus Christ. This frail, weak, sickly, dying bodies will be replaced with bodies that are perfect, eternal just like the Lord's Jesus Christ body. Amen! Yes! Diba? So, dapat masaya-masaya na tayo. Malapit na. The future is a time of blessings because we will be delivered from suffering one day soon. The suffering of this present age, glorious home in the new age. Pero, we need a strong faith. Diba? Just like Abraham. Ngayon yung si Abraham, nomadic tribe. Eh, sojourner din talaga sa earth. Just like us. He is reminding us, the Lord is reminding us that we should be like Abraham. No? Walang permanenting place. Bis, ano lang siya, migrant lang siya. Hindi ito ang kanyang tunay na uh, place. No? He's looking for that. Kaya sa ating number three. So number one, the suffering of this present age. Glorious home in the new age. And we need our faith expect, expects a heavenly home. Oh, yeah? Just like Abraham. And for he Abraham look for a city which had foundation whose builder and maker is God. So, binigay sa kanya yung kanaan. As far as the eyes can see, yun ang lupay niya. <laughs> Pero mo, eh, hindi naman malabong mata ni Abraham nun. <laughs> Di ba? Pero, malaki yun. Pero, hindi niya na expect na doon siya mananatili. He's still looking for a city. Mayroon mo, a city. Pag sinabi yung city, meron na mga buildings, ang foundation, and steady, di ba? Wala ng tent na movable. Ha? And whose builders, whose builder and maker is God. Ayan. As Abraham journeyed, he longed for the day when he could settle and wander no more. He was not looking for a city on this earth, but he was looking for a heavenly city built by God where he could live forever in the presence of the Lord. Yun po yung faith, di ba? Ni Abraham na nasa lupa siya, pero ang kanyang vision nasa heaven. O wala pa nire-reveal nun. Pero ngayon, alam na natin. So, we should be like Abraham. Have the faith like Abraham, the father of faith. Faith looks for a prepared home. Number one, the builder 
and maker. Ayan. Prepared home. We look for a home prepared for us by the Lord himself. This was promised by John 14, 1 to 3. And faith expect him to keep it. Faith will not be disappointed. Ayan. Because of our faith, we will not be disappointed. We will not be ashamed of our hope. Ayan. John 14, 1 to 3. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. Amen. That where I am, there ye may be also. Yeah, a prepared home where builder and maker is God. Faith looks for a perfect home, God. Ayan. A perfect home where God is. This home will be built by God. The home is preparing for His people. It's a perfect land designed for a perfected people. Hindi perfect people. Eh. Perfected. We were perfected. Because of the righteousness of the Lord Jesus Christ imputed to us. Thank you, Lord. Faith looks for a perfect home, God, in that land. None of the things that blemish this land will ever be found. Amen. Ever be found there. I am Revelation 21, 20, 21, 27. And there shall in no way, shall in no wise, Enter into it anything that defile it. Ayan. Neither whatsoever work it abomination or make it a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Revelation 21, 4, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death. Amen. There shall be no Neither sorrow nor crying. Oh, wala na, neither. Neither shall there be any more pain. Ayan, for the former things are passed away. Amen. Huh? Let's look. Let's have the faith to look for a perfect home, which is the maker is God. It is a glorious beyond description and faith longs. To be there. Oh, talagang gusto gusto na natin mapunta ron, right? Di ba? <laughs> Ayaw mo pa? <laughs> Number three, faith looks for a permanent home. A foundation. Ayan. A heavenly home which has a permanent home. Ayan. A city which has, which has foundation. Ibig sabihin, building na siya. This home is not a temporary home. Like the tents of Abraham dwelt in, or the homes we live in. That the heavenly home is a permanent home, a place that will never fade eternally. It will never fade, never, uh, never fade away, fall away, rust away, or rot away. Hindi po mabubulok. Eternal. Ayan, 1 Peter 1, 4, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that faded not away, huh? faded not away, huh? reserved in heaven for you. Oh, para sinabi ni Brother Sam nung isang Sunday school morning, ang sabi niya, a prepared place for a prepared People, huh? reserved in heaven for you. Wow. Nagpa-reserve na ba po ba kayo? <laughs> it is a permanent home. And faith longs to settle down over there. Oh, gusto na natin mapunta ron sa permanent home. Kaya, wag na po tayo dito mag-invest. Mag-invest na po tayo sa heaven. Ayan, lay not up for yourself treasures. 
upon earth were moth and rust that corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. But in best, lay up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust that corrupt where thieves do not break through or nor steal. Matthew 6, 19 to 20. Number four, so the suffering of this present age, glorious home in the new age, our faith expects, expects a heavenly home. Now, that's all our blessing. Suffering is a blessing, glorious home. Our faith expects a heavenly home like Abraham expects. Therefore, let us be thankful and worship. God, Diane. Hebrews 12, 28. Wherefore, we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved, stable, eh? uh, and, uh, unshakable, diba? which cannot be moved. Let us have grace. Oh, let's be thankful. Whereby we may serve God, acceptably worship Him with reverence, and godly fear. Ayan. We are receiving a kingdom which cannot be shaking. Ayan. Receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved. Yun ang ating verse. While everything made will one day perish dito sa mundo, lahat mamawawala, we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be Shaking. Oh, yung binibigay sa atin yung kingdom. Promise. Bibigay sa atin yun yung ating hope. Sure hope. Heaven is my glorious home. Ayan. The present tense. Ah? Note that the present tense are receiving. Ang sabi? Wherefore we, we receiving. Ayan. Wherefore we receiving a kingdom. Receiving. Present tense, di ba? And thus we are in the process of receiving this kingdom. So, right now, meron na tayong ticket, may stub na tayo. Diba? Reserve. <laughs> meron na tayong uh, booking. Eh? It is a kingdom, both present and future. Ayan. Talagang Hindi na tayo makalis, buti ngayon, pwede na. No? Kaya nagbubooking na, puno na yung mga, mga resort na ako, nagyarap na kayo, puno na. Allah! <laughs> in one sense, we are now in the kingdom. Ayan, present tense eh. Di ba? Colossians 1.13 Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us, translated us, into the kingdom of his dear son who hath delivered us from the power of darkness that because we are, we are saved, redeemed, and had translated us into this kingdom. So we are now a member of this kingdom, the kingdom of his dear son. <laughs> it is a kingdom both present and future. Dahil in another sense, we have yet to enter the kingdom. Wherefore, the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. O yan, i-confirm nyo na. Ha? Ha? Sabihin nyo na kung totoo nga. <laughs> For if you do these things, how you do it, how you can confirm uh, your, um, your calling and election by exercising by living soberly, righteously, and holy in this present world. O yun, di ba? For so an entrance shall be ministered, ministered unto you abundantly in an everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior. Ayan, no? Savior Jesus Christ. So, in another sense, meron na tayong booking Okay na tayo, papasok na tayo. One day soon. Although may member na tayo, hindi pa natin nagagawa yan. Pero in the future, we will 
be their glory in the future, di ba? Our glorious home, heaven. Ayan. Let there be a great promise, permanence, great privilege leads to great praise. So let us praise our Lord, di ba? Be thankful to Him and worship Him. Ayan, acceptable worship is praise, di ba? Ayan natin, looking for that blessed hope, di ba? Yun yung ating team, eh. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to God. We belong to God that you may declare the praises of Him who called you out of darkness into His wonderful light. Amen. Nandun tayo sa darkness, tinawag tayo para mapunta tayo dun sa wonderful light. Di ba? Pagka may light, may kita. Pag darkness, walang kita. Di ba? Conclusion. Ayan. Number one. As long as we are in this cursed world, sufferings will be our companion. Jesus knew this. Kaya nga, that is why when he went to prepare for us a new glorious home in heaven, di ba? Sa John 14, di ba? He gave us the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, because Jesus knew that we will suffer. <laughs> di ba? Alam niya na mag may sufferings, di ba? Kaya binigyan niya tayo ng Comforter. Ayan. Pangalawa, let us continue to look behind, beyond this world into a heavenly city which is built and prepared by God for His children like Abraham. Our hope expect a heavenly home. Our faith expect a heavenly home. And number three, let us not settle here. O, wag tayo mag-invest dito. We should invest in heaven. This world, but rather let us prepare ourselves to live permanently with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. In our glorious home in heaven to worship and praise Him forever. Worship and praise Him forever. Why? Who called us out of darkness into His, into His wonderful light? Amen. Lord, thank you. And God bless us all. You know. And grieving here. Glory there. Tenga na, tenga na. Grieving here. Glory there. Ayun. So, thank you very much. First Baptist Church of Pildira. God bless.
Gracious God and Heavenly Father, sa umagang ito, nagpukurit pa salamat kami na patuloy na uh, sa pag-aaral namin ng iyong salita, Panginoon, sa pamagitan ng Sunday School. Thank you, Lord, na sa pamagitan ng Sunday School para patuloy na lumalago ang aming buhay kristyano at ganun din naging malawak ang aming pagkikilala sa aming Panginoong Iso Kristo. Kaya sa umagang ito, maraming salamat na uh, sa pamagitan nito, uh, marami rin mga kapatiran, marami rin mga uh, ibang mananampalataya na, na kapag aral na yung salita. Thank you sa paggamit mo kay Brother Richard na siyang uh, daluyan ng pagpapala sa pagtuturo sa amin sa umagang ito. Maraming salamat muli Lord sa lahat at sa ang papurit pa salamat ay sa iyo lamang in Jesus name. Amen.